Hi, we have here a vibrator that's connected to a signal generator. So the vibrator is made to oscillate at a particular fixed frequency. On the plate here, we put some sand particles. Apparently, when the amplitude of the oscillation is small, the sand can keep up with the SHM of the vibrator. But if the amplitude is too large, then the sand will start losing contact and jumping off the plate. Why is that so? The free body diagram of a sand particle can make the situation clearer. So there are only two forces acting on a sand particle. There is its weight and there is the normal contact force. At the equilibrium position, these two forces should be equal in magnitude because these are SHM. And we know that for a SHM, at the equilibrium position, the net force is zero. However, if the plate is displaced below the equilibrium position, then we know that the normal contact force is going to be larger than the weight. The reason is because we know for SHM, the displacements and the accelerations are always opposite in direction. So if you are displaced downward, the acceleration has got to be upward. Applying Newton's second law on the same particle, we will write the upward normal contact force minus away the downward weight can be equated to my m times my a, but of course it's SHM, so I can write the acceleration as omega square x. So the mathematics show us quite clearly that um, whenever the plate is oscillating below the equilibrium position, the normal contact force is larger than mg by this amount m omega square x, which is basically the required restoring force for the same particle to keep up with the SHM of the plate. Let's move on to when the plate is oscillating above the equilibrium position. When it's above, we know that the normal contact force is going to be smaller than the weight. Reason being, when, you are, when the displacement is positive, the acceleration has got to be negative downward. In terms of Newton's second law, we can write the downward weight minus away the upward normal contact force is equals to m omega square x. So the mathematics show us very clearly that whenever the plate is oscillating above the equilibrium position, the normal contact force acting on the sand will be um, smaller than the weight by this amount. And this amount is again the restoring force that's required for the SHM. So the mathematics seems to suggest that as x becomes larger and larger, that means as we go further and further away from the equilibrium position, the normal contact force will become smaller and smaller. So there should be a limiting displacement when the normal contact force drops to zero, and that's when the sand particle is going to lose contact. In fact, we can solve for this limiting displacement by setting the normal contact force to be zero. So if the normal contact force is zero, mg is going to be equals to m omega square x. Uh, let me put the word limit here to represent the limiting displacement. Huh? So the limiting displacement will work out to be g divided by omega square. Basically, the sand particle has a problem keeping up with the SHM of the plate because the, it has a maximum downward restoring force, and that is mg. The maximum downward restoring force for the sand is mg when the normal contact force has already dropped to zero. So if the oscillation of the plate brings the sand particles to a displacement too high up, such that the required restoring force is larger than mg, then the sand particles cannot keep up and will lose contact with the plate. This can happen on the way up because the sand particle cannot slow down as fast as the plate. Or this can happen on the way down because the plate speeds up faster than the sand. Okay, that's all. Ta-ta!